Welcome to Shadowrun Returns Let's Play. You know, by Darkfold. Anyway, so this is a game I've been wanting to actually complete through to the end. I, I did play for a little while when it originally came out, but I love the Shadowrun universe. I've uh, been the uh, GM, the, well, the game master specifically and storyteller for Shadowrun uh, tabletops for quite some time and uh, I'm going to be playing this game for a couple of people. We'll see what, if they like it or not. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to go ahead with male. We're going to do elf and street samurai. Now, the different races for this particular game, if you're not aware of uh, how Shadowrun or what it is what it actually works, is back in The Awakening in 2012, uh, humans were the only race, and what The Awakening is is basically magic rejoined the world from some sort of cataclysm that happened, <clears throat> which actually allowed uh, humans to mutate into elves, dwarves, orcs, or trolls. Now, typically trolls have regeneration capabilities and uh, aren't very charismatic or intelligent. Uh, they make very good tanks and general tough combat fighters. And orcs are very similar to humans in general, but they're just in general stronger. Uh, dwarves, they basically are just short humans that basically were converted into being a more of a stocky magical resistance style character and elves are just a, a skinnier variant to humans that actually have more uh, capabilities with magic or more in touch with magic they're faster uh, I'm creating a character that is actually a nod to one of my Shadowrun campaigns it is going to be Mortimer Reed, which is a reoccurring character that was in uh, my campaigns. Now we have five karma available to spend. I chose Street Samurai. Now body is a statistic that increases your HP and quickness is a chance to hit with uh, ranged weapons and be hit by enemy physical attacks. Uh, range combat, well, it, as you use, the diamonds actually denote special skills that you get at these particular ranks. Elves can get special um, skills that are, they can only get uh, because of how quick they are, essentially. Now, ranged combat um, is obviously your chances to hit with those ranged weapons. Now we got the different types of weapons you can use in the game. Pistols, submachine guns, shotguns, rifles, and dodge is based off of quickness as well, which reduces the chance to be hit by physical attacks. Now that's also including melee and ranged attacks. Not magic, though. Now strength is determined damage and how far thrown weapons can be thrown. Now close combat is melee and unarmed skill success rates, accuracy, now, I'm probably going to play through with a melee character as well as I think I'm going to go with rifle character as well, for ranged and melee. I'm not going to do too much throwing weapons, even though in my campaign, this character used a lot of uh, throwing grenades. So, uh, the intelligence is basically used for using med kits as well as... Um, decking or uh, fighting in uh, the cyberware type of uh, environment known as the matrix virtual reality essentially and there's also drone controls allows you to be a rigger it allows you to attack with drones from a distance and various types of drones uh, willpower is the chance to hit and the chance to not be hit by enemy magical attacks as well as the chance to hit with your own course. Spell casting, chance to hit with your spells. Chi casting is used by adepts, which are basically their physical adepts that use 
an inner magic to enhance their own abilities and not actually have an outward manifestation of magic spells like like a mage would use with fireball or a shaman would use to commune with a summoned spirit. Uh, charisma actually allows you to, it's kind of a twofold thing, it allows you to control spirits that come into the world uh, as well as talking etiquette style things and which is actually what these diamonds are it allows you to have a new conversation option in the game so what i'm going to do is quickness i'm going to increase my quickness at first you know i'm going to change my mind on that i'm going to do uh, now this bar here on range combat and quickness these bars you see here are the maximum you can actually train your skills two and range combat is is the general limit as well you have to increase this in order to gain a point in second point in pistol for instance this would have to go to two which would give me three available karma now what i'll do is i'll just go ahead and get these two abilities uh, aim shot and burst fire with a rifle and i think that'll do it now, these are etiquettes, like I was talking about with Charisma. This allows you to speak with these types of conversation options and the, with these types of people much easier. Now, I think we're going to take um, Shadowrunner because that's what I am at first. Okay. Mortimer, read. Now, Mortimer Marie was actually a throwback to the Sega Genesis game uh, for Shadowrun, where he was a Johnson, which is a person known as a Mr. Johnson, which is the hiring out contract managers for Shadowruns or mercenaries to do jobs. And we're going to go ahead and start. Down and out, your apartment, 3 o'clock in the morning. It's got four walls, a roof, and it isn't on fire. Even the cockroaches have fled in search of better accommodations. Not exactly a runner's dream pad, but right now, it's about all you have left. Running the shadows is all about feast or famine. One day, you're Nova Hot, working jobs that allow you to eat at five-star restaurants. The next, well, you are here. This one's a famine for the ages. Slagging fixer hasn't called, the money's run out, and then some. Sinless and free. Free to starve in the cracks of society run by Megacore who just want your Nuyen. Something needs to change. And soon. Your apartment, 2054. It's 3 a.m. and you've got nowhere to go but down. Alright, so let's go ahead and take a look at the environment here. Got some stuff to look at. Slip a paper with your bank balance, enough to cover you through the end of the week. Your notebook, calendar, contacts, that kind of thing. View your list of contacts. The list is sad, dried up. Carter, Detroit, Fixer, no response to messages. Dowd, Runner, dead. Felton, Nash, Fixer, missing since February. New Larry, Runner, dead. Sam Watts, runner. Unknown, probably in a gutter somewhere. Sangoma, runner, dead. Halfjack, dealer, retired or dead. Well, seems like this is a super dangerous job where everybody dies. The list goes on, all either dead ends or just plain dead. Be your personal calendar. It's nothing. Nothing to do. Put down your notebook. Oh, answer my vid phone. All right. Hello. The screen leaps to life, making you squint against its brightness. The face on the screen is laughing. Sam Watts. Hey, buddy. I hope I didn't get you at a bad time. <laughs> He's drunk again. Or worse. Hmm. Where have you been, Sam? I haven't heard from you in months. Another giggle. 
Oh, don't bother with your side of the confirm con conversation. Confirmation, jeez. I'm not really here. Just one reason for this vid. Someone finally geeked me. I'm dead. I probably had it coming. So this is like a death video that was sent on his um, dock wagon band or something along those lines that transmitted that he's been killed. When you're an unsavory character like myself, you tend to associate with other unsavory characters who often partake in unsavory business, like you, for example. So why am I dead? <laughs> who knows? Probably my fault. I wonder where you are right now. I bet you hit a big payday and you're living high on the hog somewhere. Some of us are born winners and some of us are me. Hey, you remember that Rinraku run where things went to hell and we lost out? Or that makeshift saloon on the docks afterward? I really had your back that night, didn't I? No, that's a name you haven't heard in a long time. Except for the one I just read. Flashback? Hmm. Three years ago, a makeshift bar on the Seattle docks. The night Dowd went down. All right. San Goma, let's talk to you. San Goma is an urban shaman who proved her worth during a run against Fuji last fall. She's the quiet type, an experienced runner. We're out in the open here, Mortimer Reed. Ready to bolt? Neg, not yet. Let's give the fixer another five minutes. Neg, short for term for negatory. <clears throat> New Larry. What you got for me, bud? You've been running with New Larry for about six months now. He's a combat mage with a bad tattoo and a bad attitude. He knew Dowd almost as well as you did. Dowd, never saw anybody die like that before. Idiot. He shakes his head. I hate this fragging city, Mortimer Reed. It's wet and the rain feels like acid and I want out of here. We wait for the money. Yeah, sure, of course. I'll wait all night if I have to. I don't know, Mortimer Reed. Sam is a good guy and can hold his own in a fight, but he's been hitting the bottle pretty good lately. Never on a run, so far, but he needs watching. He shakes his head. That run went sideways nine ways to Sunday. Now the fixer is late. Smell funny to you? Hell yeah, it smells funny. Look at where he set up the meeting. This was supposed to be a public place. Cut the direct, Sam. We both know why Dowd went down, and it wasn't the fixer or some other paranoid chip dream of yours. Sam sm smiles a toothy smile. I've been waiting all night for this. New Larry has something he wants to say, don't you, Larry? Go ahead. Spill it. You were sloppy. He laughs. <laughs> sloppy. You think I was sloppy? You've been twitchy all day, son. Look at your hands. They're shaking. That true, Sam? Did you miss a, miss a beat back there? No, Mona Marie. I didn't miss a beat. I was on my game the whole time. Remember, I was on point. New Larry was supposed to cover Dowd. Something dawns on him. He leans into New Larry, amused and dangerous. We were set up, and he knows it, don't you, Larry? What was that call you made before we hit Rinraku? How come you couldn't geek that guy before he unloaded on Dowd? I've seen you fling a lightning bolt, son. He should have been burnt toes before his gun cleared the holster. New Larry checks his watch, licks his lips, looks over your shoulder at the darkness. He's looking for someone, and it's not the fixer. Okay, I can see where this is going. You chummers are damaged. I'm out. Hands where I can see him, asshole. He stops, and a smile slowly appears on his face. What? You're going to take my gun away, Mortimer Reed? You know I don't need one. We've got incoming. New Larry relaxes and throws you a direct eating grin, also known as shit. Looks like my new Rinraku friends are finally here. They're going to take that hard drive off your corpse, buddy. We should choose our friends more carefully, Mona Marie. Buy you a drink after this? 
You'll owe me several. Well. Combat already. Well. Whoa. Okay. Well, not shooting at me. Turn based combat. Every character has an action pool. Spend these actions on movements, attacks, or using spells and items. Once your turn is complete, it's the enemy's turn. All right. <clears throat> Tutorial, I'm assuming here. Well, I have a shotgun, which I highly doubt is classified as a rifle, so good on me. Looks like I have trauma kit and a basic med kit. This one's 25% total health no matter what. This is probably some fixed number. And these are frag grenades. <clears throat> All right. So new Larry is automatically, automatically enemy. These are two in Rocky security. So we got to kill this guy fast because he's a mage and probably does a ton of damage. But I got a 99% chance, so I'm just going to take my shots. Wow. A crit on him. Two shots and he's down. Perfect. All right, what is this? Is that an auto shotgun or something? Or is that an Uzi? Let's go ahead and get behind cover, pal. 93%, let's go. AK-47, actually, so... You hit that thing, please. Oh, my goodness. Now they're shooting at me, guys. Oh, they got me. Uh, eh, it's not too bad. Let's go ahead and run into cover here. Now, this shield you see here, uh, right here, that means they're in full cover. It means that they take reduced damage or are very hard to hit. Uh, this would be half cover. All right. Can I change my rate of fire? Oh, well, not on a shotgun. Okay. Oh, boy. All right. Good job. Good job, Sam. Is there anything else? What's this? Hmm. Oh, she's a summoner. Is there anybody else? I don't see anybody. Oh, behind us. Okay. Let's go ahead and reload. Clink, clink, clink. Go here. This is a bad spot. I don't know why I went there. Oh, well, we'll just get closer. Oh, good. Good throw. At least you missed. <laughs> this is bad. They have a shaman. Hmm. There's the shaman. There's the mage. Oh, let's just go ahead. Pump him up. Did it escape? It had such a low chance. Oh, no. Let's just concentrate our efforts over here. At least they're fighting amongst themselves. Alright, 
So I got two actions. Let's get to a good spot somewhere. Let's just get there. <clears throat> Reload. Let's let you wait it out. Do some reloading. Well, they're occupied. Yeah, I got that. All right, let's get this mage. Ah. Missed me. All right, that was a mistake, I think. Get him. Good job, Sam. Sam Goma lowers her gun. I, Sam. You okay, Sam? Sam's breathing is heavy and he looks shaken. That was a hell of a thing. You did good. You were born for this gig, Mortimer Reed. Me? Not so much. I think I'm going to hang it up, find a nice brothel somewhere, stay drunk until I croak. What about you? I'll find a safe house out of town, lay low. Rinraku has a long memory. I do too. I don't forget my friends. Tutorial concluded. Didn't really explain too much, but... You stare at Sam's face on your comm link. Shake off the memory. Focus. I had your back that night, didn't I? Now I'm asking myself, who would care if I die? Who would give a rat's ass? Better or worse, your name is on the top of the list. Maybe it's the only name on the list. So, I set up a dead man's switch to send you this call. I got a hundred thousand New Year insurance policy payable when you find who creased me. Alive with a conviction or in a body bag with justification. Either works. Contact my law firm, Rogers, Mingert, and McCain. When the job is done, they'll know what to do. He turns to his left. Chet? Lawyer. I'm assuming Chet. <clears throat> Camera swivels to a show a well-dressed man sitting next to Sam. Pursuant to Mr. Watt's wishes, Rogers, Mingard, and McCain have installed a secure dedicated phone line so you may contact us directly when the task is complete. We will then begin a verification process. Note that you must also be on a secure landline to access this number. We will not accept transmissions from comlinks or other devices. The camera swivels back to Sam. Sam straightens up. Talk seriously, first time. Look, Mortimer Reed. I've led a direct life, and I probably left a direct corpse. I've hurt people, hurt myself. I don't know. Maybe I just want the last word. Maybe I just want someone to give a crap that I sucked air for a while. What do you say? Hmm. I'll get to the bottom of this. Someone will pay. I said I've traded a drinking buddy for a paycheck. I'd said my tr schedule's pretty clear right now. A hundred thousand Indian buys a lot of drinks. I'll get to the bottom of this. Someone will pay. I hope you just said yes. Get a job. Any job. I've got a locator chip slotted in my head these days. If, when, my heart stops, it'll activate. That's how you'll find me. See you on the slab. 
Rest in peace, Sam. See you in Seattle. The Dead Man's Switch. Your plane hits the SeaTac tarmac with a jolt. Welcome to Seattle. The chilly northwest rain obscures your vision as you step onto the tarmac. Before long, you're sitting in the cramped back seat of a cab, following the signal from Sam's locator chip into the heart of the Redmond Barrens. Organ grinders. A legal chop shop for body parts. <laughs> Whether from the living or the dead. If you're hurting bad enough for Nuyen, this is the place to sell a limb or an organ. It's also a good place to dispose of an inconvenient body while making a little cash on the side. This franchise is the closest thing the Barons has to a morgue. It seems this is where Sam Watts' body has ended up. You open the door and are assaulted by a smell of death and bleach. All right, guys. I'm going to call it here and continue in the next episode. Thanks for watching.